Hi, my name is Dylan. A few days ago, I unboxed my new Magic Mouse 2. I was so excited. I paid a whopping 140 euro for that space grey model, which is absurd considering that the silver one is a lot cheaper. The moment I took that mouse out of the box, I realized that it is not an ordinary mouse. And I know that it will take some time to get used to. But after one week, here is what happened. convenient thing was to connect that mouse to a computer. For that you need a Bluetooth enabled Mac with OS 10 El Capitan or later. The only thing that you need to do is to turn on that mouse and then go to like system preferences, Bluetooth or mouse, you, ha you can go to mouse or to Bluetooth. There are two options, so I will go to mouse. You just wait. Found Tilenbridge cos mouse. And then you just click connect and that's all. When it is connected, you get this beautiful interface. Now your mouse is connected unless you right click and disconnect it or move too far away. Its range is approximately 25 meters. But after that boring and dissatisfying stuff come up. Even though design is very beautiful and elegant, it is the most uncomfortable mouth I have ever used. It's just too short and small. Your hand can't rest on the mouse and after two hours of using it, you start to feel pain in your hands. This is one of the reasons why I ditch my mouse completely for a very good trackpad. But that's not all, because there is no divided space for left and right click, it can be quite frustrating sometimes, especially if you play games. You still have right click on the mouse if you tap on the right uh, portion of the mouse. And that's the thing I hate the most. Because to get right click on a trackpad, you just tap with two fingers and that's how I want to activate right click on a mouse. So to double tap with two fingers. But sadly, I don't have that option. Gestures on that things are just amazing. And that is the only thing I really love about that mouse. You can swipe left or right to go between photos or pages or, or documents in Safari. One of the best gesture is to swipe left or right with two fingers to get among full screen apps. But on a trackpad, the same gestures is performed with three fingers. Again, inconsistency. If you double tap with two fingers, you get to mission control. So that's very good gesture, so two fingers. But on the trackpad, you need to swipe with three fingers up to get to mission control. So we are here again with inconsistency. So I hope you get it. If you use Magic Mouse 2 for a period of time, you can be very confused when you go to just using trackpad, which is better experience. Battery life is very good in that thing. It lasts for a full mount on a single charge. And also it supports fast charging, so there is no worry to stay without it. Two minutes of charging is okay for nine hours of using. Again, the charging experience is the weirdest. You can't use it while it's charging. Hmm. 
The cable is space in space gray, which is very good. I really like that. But again, here is the very, very odd thing. And that is that it has USB-A. So you can't charge your mouse from MacBook Pro without a dongle. So to finish, Magic Mouse 2 is gorgeous. Very feature packed, but with a lot of controversy and unpractical design. Please don't buy that mouse. Try to use trackpad or look on the web for another mouse. Thank you all for watching. Bye. If you liked that video, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get you notified whenever a new video is ready.